So what we're going to do here, we're at Landy Simone's Apiary. Landy's been participating in the, the New Jersey National Honeybee Survey Program for uh, probably four or five years. And um, the National Honeybee Survey, if a state participates, they're going to want about, uh, they want 24 apiaries, and the apiary has to have at least 10 hives in it. And we would survey eight of them. And on our worksheet here, it asks a lot of different questions, such as, is there any brood disease? If so, what are they? Is there any adult diseases, such as deformed wing virus? What are they? Do we see any pests? Uh, what's the condition of the queen? Is the colony queen right? Are they uh, drone layer, et cetera, et cetera. And then we'll collect a quarter cup of bees in alcohol, a quarter cup of live bees that will be analyzed for, for viruses. And then we're going to do what's called a frame knock, where we are going to knock a frame of open brood without the bees into this tray. And at the end, we'll wash this with water and then collect uh, everything that drops out of that, out of that knock. Mm -hmm. And then that will be analyzed for a foreign uh, mite that is one that is not in this country yet Tropolelops. called Tropolelops. Yeah, and we certainly don't want it here. Uh, one of the reasons we do that is it helps to, to show that the United States doesn't have that, and I think it somehow comes into play when it comes to trading partners mm -hmm. uh, around the world. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do, uh, that I like to do for beekeepers whenever possible, is do alcohol washes um, while I'm in their apiary to see how well their mite control worked, because uh, all too often beekeepers do not ever check, they just make assumptions that their mite control efforts worked, and I know Landy would like to know that, so when we have extra bees from our from shaking them off of the frames of open brood, we're going to load up the alcohol washers and we'll wash them so she gets an idea of what percent or how low her mite levels are. This is an alcohol washer and this we will put about a half a cup of bees in here and we're going to screw that on. It's filled with alcohol. That will kill the bees instantly and then we're gonna vigorously shake them for about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll leave the bees in one half and let the, the mites in the wash come through on the other half. And that is how we'll get an idea as to how many mites are in these colonies. Now, there's about 600 bees in a cup. So half a cup of bees is roughly 300 bees. Correct. So if you've got six mites or more in that alcohol wash, that represents Two percent. A two percent infection. over about a two percent infection is usually fatal. Um, well, I, well, it's a serious problem. I heard the Bee Informed Partnership reported at EAS that if you're finding, if you have a five percent infestation rate, that colony has a fifty percent chance of surviving. Yeah. So the higher the level, especially the later the season, uh, the greater your chances of failure. Yeah. And all too often, people don't. Uh, people that get into beekeeping, they they um, they they don't believe they have mites because they don't really look for them or don't know how to look for them. Um, and they're or, so small, it's real hard to they, see. Or them. they just ignore they just ignore that yeah. fact. Okay, so that's something that I, I I I'm continually trying to remind people of. All right, so let's go in and let's get set up. You got a smoker going? I do. So which way are we gonna work? Yeah, I got any. Down to the end. Do you want to take that? I got it. Excuse me. Oh, that's nice. That's a good 40 pounds of honey right there. Okay. And I've got honey in here too. You can see honey, yeah. honey, honey. This is mostly honey. There's some brood in the middle. So what we want is a frame of mostly open brood. Okay. It's just nectar falling out. Yeah, and there's pollen, crazy amount of pollen right now. Can you see how much they're bringing in? Yeah. You got it? There's cat brood. Can yep. you see any open brood there? A little bit. And we're queen right. There's Obviously, queen. we want to make sure the queen is not on here. So I like to have the, the beekeeper check with me because the last thing I want to do is take her queen. Especially one like this. This is a nice queen. I don't see her, Randy. I'll, I'll take another look. Look 
I don't see you either. This wash tub works really great for collecting the bee sample. Sometimes people will bang them right on the ground. I don't like to do that. I just like to hold the frame and give a quick jerk. And I'm collecting a quarter cup in alcohol and a, a quarter cup live. And we have enough to do a half a cup in the washer. I'll do that. You can put these back. Okay. And now I can do my knock. And this is the way the frame knock works. Is we want to hit them. I'm going to put a little water in there just to see if that doesn't stop that dry stuff from bouncing all over. Now Andy will put that back in and then we'll do a shape. It's not like this. Sometimes people want to do it like this. They're not going to dislodge anything. You want to shake them hard. Here's something that, that's important that people don't often do. You know how we're shaking? And then at the very end, I like to give it a swirl to help to dislodge anything. That, oh, there's, there's one, one now. See that? Yeah, we got it at the swirl. We got it at the swirl. <laughs> it's a one, Landy. I'll take that. Yeah, zero, zero point three. Zero point three per hundred. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, in order to be a good, profitable beekeeper, you have to be a good mite manager. If you can't manage Varroa mites, you're not going to be in the bee business very long. Mm 